Hey everybody, we are teaching Vermilion. And this particular time, we're actually going to talk about the palette. Yes, indeed, the place where you're going to control the colors of your paints to paint with. Now, the palette in Vermilion is nice because since it's a computer, that little tiny blob of paint can hold an infinite amount of color. So I could take that one little blob of paint and paint as much as I need and never run out of that color. So we don't have to worry about remixing colors. As long as we've got it on the palette, we can use more and more and more. So let me put this down for a moment. Now, Vermilion comes with two default palettes. This one is referred to as the Bob Ross palette because it's got all the main colors that uh, the artist used on his famous television series. It gives you a broad range of colors to start with and a good amount of mixture so you can develop most colors. Now it also comes with a primary colors set with just our red, yellow, blue and white to thin it out. Now, our palettes are customizable in that we can mix as much as we want on the palette, and it also has a feature where we can save a palette for later. So if we build up a range of colors, say skin tones or ocean colors, we can then save that set for later use. You can even export these palettes and download them and exchange palettes using, for example, they're on the Discord channel, which we've got linked in the, com in the description below. But that way, if you set up or are looking for specific color combinations, they can be saved and exchanged online. Now, in this case, we can use colors and create our own palette. So maybe I like the primaries, but I really regret the lack of black and brown. So I could take these colors and add colors to them and then save that as a palette. So here's what we're going to do for our example is I'm going to start with our Bob Ross palette, which has blacks and browns. I'm going to use my brush to get some of this black and add it to the mixing tray. Cleaning the brush, I'm going to get some brown and add it to the mixing tray. In fact, any colors I want, maybe I'm going to find a nice sort of a deep dark green. There, a nice hunter's green. And I want to save that for the palette, so I'm going to get that on the mixing table as well. Now I'm going to switch back to the primary palette get a little black color and add a blob of black onto the palette. Clean. Now I can get some brown and add the brown over here. Brown on the palette. Now maybe that dark green, I'm going to put it down here. I only need a small blob because I can get an infinite amount of that color from the blob on the palette. Finally, I'm now going to save this palette. I'm actually going to switch to the headset view so you can see the palette screen in the controls. So here's the palette screen in the controls. And you can see here is how I change between the defaults. If I go to your palettes, now I can save this setup as its own palette. There. So even if I change and work with different colors, I can go back to this one and get that as a starting point with an infinite amount of brown and black to go with my primaries. We'll look at on the computer screen where these end up so that you can actually save these palettes and exchange them with other people. Let's go back to our main screen view. Welcome back. So we've now got custom palettes and you can create and save as many as you want. If you actually want to start with a blank palette, I'm actually going to get my cleaning rag from the brushes and you can actually clean the palette itself. Start from a blank palette and then build up and add the specific colors for you want. So maybe this was my ocean scene for ocean colors, so I will start with blues and greens, mix them on the tray, and then build it from a clean palette, build up an ocean palette, as it were, and save that in my list.
So the palette itself is a versatile place to mix colors, mixing tray colors, but remember anything on the palette, we can draw an infinite amount from. So if I just get a little bit of green, I can keep going back and getting more of that green. Of course, I'm adding it to color that's already there, but you can see how going in, let's get a top layer. Uh, we're from the same tiny spot of color. I can cover the entire canvas, keep going back to that same spot to get as much as I need. So you can really build up from any palette using these palette controls. Custom palettes in Vermilion. Join the Discord so you can exchange cool palettes with other people. Feel free to experiment. Remember that your B control will clear the palette back to the original, so if you mess it up too much, you can start again. And then you can always go in and save a number of different palettes to save your preferred different colors. Transfer from the mixing tray to your palette so that you can use it as much as you like. I hope this makes sense. Let me know in the comments below if you have questions. What the heck are you talking about? Practice, experiment, go ahead and exchange palettes with other people. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've got suggestions for other episodes. I hope this has been helpful. I hope this has been fun. Let me know what you think. No, you can't draw on the back of the palette, but you can actually create art on here if you like. You get the drill. Have fun with Vermilion, everybody. We'll see you next time.